So, what's up everyone? I'm Lewis here and I'm hanging out with my good friend James Wedmore, who I just flew out here all day. We're in Laguna Beach. You can kind of see the beach and the uh, ocean. Beautiful sunset right and, now. Uh, it's amazing right now. It's the magic hour. This is magic. Probably in like five, five minutes the sun will go down, but we've been shooting videos all day and kind of going over content about YouTube marketing and getting traffic from, from videos. And I guess I just wanted to ask James really quick, kind of behind the scenes, a little bit more about YouTube and video marketing. I was going to ask you, do you think that every business owner or professional or entrepreneur or anyone doing business right now should be using video for content or for any way to promote their business? Or do you think that just getting by by writing content is good enough? Well, we're all familiar with what, I mean, I'm not an SEO expert, but we're all familiar with what's been happening with Google recently. What is it? The panda slap and everything. Article sites are getting deranked. I have a lot of old blogs and niche sites and stuff, and I've just seen the traffic nose Go down. Yeah. And, you know, Google's always changing its algorithm, but what's going to happen is they're always going to want you to, as a visitor, always visit YouTube, which uh, they own. Mm -hmm. So your content is obviously showing up, your videos are obviously showing up, or someone else's videos are showing up <clears throat> on the first page of Google when you type in those keywords. Right. So obviously for search and traffic generation purposes, it's a no-brainer. Right. But uh, what happens is people tend to, in their mind, make up the story about why they shouldn't be doing video because they're no good in front of the camera or they're not a technical genius or whatever other excuse they want right. to make. And, oh. and as I love to say is you don't, you don't have to be a De Niro in front of the camera. You don't have to be a Spielberg behind the camera. Now, I, I come from a film background, so I'm using these expensive, right. big, giant cameras and working with actors or people who want to be actors. And, <laughs> and, and I had to get rid of that. I had to realize that that type of stuff will bog you down. We're filming this video on a $100 little Kodak camera, and that's the stuff, type of stuff that's important. It says play sport. Yeah. It's a little waterproof camera. It's about as cheap as they get, <laughs> but it works. It right. absolutely works. So. Right. Um, what about in the next absolutely. couple of years? What about in the next couple of years? So, what do you think is going to happen to people if they don't get into video? Is this going to be harder struggle to try to make more sales or build a business? Well, or? their competitors are going to get into video, and what I'm already They're seeing. Already doing it. A lot of people are already doing it. Right, and what I'm seeing with with YouTube itself is they. What it, I don't remember when it was, but they celebrated their fifth birthday mm -hmm. recently in the last few months. And I'm looking at videos I've uploaded a few years ago. I'm looking at competitive niches that I'm interested in going into and targeting for other new videos. And guess who's at the top? Videos that were uploaded two or three years ago. So imagine what it's going to be like. I mean, on Google. Uh, on or Google you? and in YouTube. <clears throat> wow. Whether we're in Google or we're in YouTube, Google and YouTube, if we talk about them together as a whole, they're favoring older who, videos. Who, who started first. Right. So, you, you know, it doesn't mean it's too Better. late or right. anything now. but. But do it now, so that the people trying to jump on the bandwagon in a year ago, a year from now, two years from now, are, are not going to be able to compete with you. Now, the advantage you have is being able to, what we've talked about a lot today, optimizing your videos, doing the, the video optimization side, the market research, knowing the keywords, knowing how to optimize your video before you even create it, let alone upload it, mm -hmm. is going to give you the, the, the leverage and the competitive edge over those people that uploaded their videos two years ago and just put a random title, random keywords, don't know how to do their tags properly in a proper description, that's gonna give you the competitive edge today mm -hmm. to beat out those people that have two year old videos. Right, right. So James, you're a, a film school grad. What What is it that makes you so attached or attracted to video in general? I mean, why do you love it so much? I think, I think the answer is simple from, I mean, there's two sides of it. First, as a, creative, as a creative, right? well, my first class I took at film school was called visual storytelling. Mm. And I think that, that sums it all up for me and that's that's what the whole journey has been is about being able to create a story where a, 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 a culture based on telling stories our mark good marketing tells stories <clears throat> so we get to use that in our videos but I'll tell you something that's even more important with why I love video is from a consumer standpoint um, a when I watch a video it gives me the gist right away like you see a sales video today you see <clears throat> videos by someone you think maybe you want to buy something from you go all right who is this guy who is this guy I want to check him out you know instantly don't you 80% of our communication <clears throat> is nonverbal so the body language the tonality we have the confidence or lack of confidence that we have when we're talking we we, we get that funny feeling in our head you know like our gut like, like flies? not <laughs> butterflies we get that before the camera rolls but but as a consumer you see that person you go, there's something that bugs me about that person or you go wow I like that person and video allows us to really do like that polarizes almost in a sense right it does and and <clears throat> bottom line in that rant what I'm trying to say is that 
video allows the true, authentic people that really have value, have a real message mm -hmm. to shine through and weed out all the spammy people. Right. Which I think is magical. Interesting. You know, so. Or it'll showcase really who's being spammy through their videos as well. Yeah. Because you can see it. We've seen see videos where like, that guy's a liar. That's annoying. I don't or, know. You know, I don't trust, trust that person. Yeah, yeah. Right. So. And so for people, going back to the fear thing, you know, someone who's afraid to get in front of the camera, afraid to be in front of the I was afraid. I'm the biggest introvert. I mean, I was afraid to raise my hand in high school. That's <clears> how bad it was, like anxiety attacks. The only fear you need to have about being in front of the camera is a fear that if you're not being true with your message, if you're lying, uh -huh. you're gonna be afraid that people are gonna know that because they right. will They will in a second. So right. as long as you're sitting here going, oh, I have something great to share with the world, it doesn't matter how good you are in front of the camera or anything like that. You don't that. even have to be in front of the camera, right? Exactly. You can do like... Uh, screen capture videos. Screen capture videos, uh, slips, like a PowerPoint. PowerPoint kind of, keynote, absolutely. Right. And those are incredibly more engaging. Or you could do just audio and just put pictures up. Yes. Right, something yeah. like that. Yeah, and it doesn't have to take a lot of time, which I love, right? I'm I'm a machine of efficiency, mm. so it's about getting it done, getting it up there, moving on to the next thing. Right. So what's what's going to happen in the next couple of years? Then, what do you think? Where's video going? Do you think? Because obviously Gosh. now with video sales letters, that wasn't really something that happened a couple of years ago. Right. So are there going to be new things so, evolving? Do you think? Do you? I mean, the big shift we're seeing right now, obviously <clears> on the conversion <throat> side, is that a lot of people are ditching the long copy sales letter. I talk a lot about this with the whole video sales letter. No one thing. reads them anymore. No one reads <clears> them. <throat> they skip the they skip the, yeah. the message and they right. go right to the offer. We all do that. And so, this doesn't mean this could be for software consulting or coaching or any type right. of business. Anything right? you're trying to sell online. Anything. People have been using the long scrolling sales letter. Well, <clears> now people are ditching that for video. So I think that's just going to continue to happen with everything your about me page or right. your frequently asked question page like it's just more use and integration of video now i'm seeing the the emails that are coming in that are video embedded emails and stuff like that i don't know if i'm <laughs> on board with all that but um you know we're going to see more of it i don't see youtube going anywhere soon uh, right. i see it just getting bigger and bigger some of the stats we talked about earlier today is is people spend this huge majority of their time on youtube right now and that they they said in this poll that uh people took that it's like they they tend to they uh, plan on increasing their u their usage the use. oh. of video, and the average person right now is spending over <clears throat> 15 minutes a day on YouTube. 15 minutes a day. Yeah, that's pretty good. You know, and that, so that's basically going to go up. <laughs> right, right, right. Interesting. Yeah. What about? Um, I mean, the reason why I think people like video is because now more than ever is because our attention spans are less. Wouldn't you say? So reading something <clears throat> is harder for us. That's why, I mean, Twitter has pretty much broken us down by saying, you know, if you read anything longer than 140 characters, it's too long. So reading a thousand word sales page is a lot harder than pressing a button and watching a story, a visual well, story, like you said. Absolutely. And there's, something, more there's right? something else here that no one really talks about, but if we know our good friend Billy Mays, mm. rest in peace, he always had, he coined this term of demonstrability. And I'm like, what the heck does that exactly. mean? <laughs> but if you saw Pitchman, the show he was on, mm -hmm. every product, before they ever they picked it up and said, we're gonna sell this thing, we're gonna rock it, they had to say, what's the demonstrability factor? Hmm. And I think that's important that, that that's one of the things that video will do that text never could. So let me say I'm in the pick a niche, like, like the fitness niche, and I'm gonna tell you how to do the perfect ab crunch. I can't really do that in an article, can I? I can't really say, well, you want to sit there, you know, on your knees, and it's like, you read that and you don't, I don't understand. And even, translate. even pictures, like if you do a before, after, A, B picture, like it's just not as well. But video, mm. it works for that, and that's where people are gonna go to that. So why? It's because it's, your video is demonstrable. Like ours right now is just us talking, right. but what would be really cool is if we did something demonstrable you know, like show you the sunset or be doing something cool so what you want to look for when you're producing content is what are the things that an article couldn't do that video can do uh, for you so not just like here's the tip of the day but like here's how to do this or here's what this looks like right. or here's how I broke it down so you can see me doing it live right demonstrability it's it's allowing you to use video to its full potential and I'm I'm just guessing this right now I have no clue the, the facts and the numbers but I'm assuming that you can sell a lot more through video than you ever could through written copy. Yes. I, I don't know the numbers online for people driving traffic to long sales copy, um, written copy converted to commercials on TV and comparing the amount of traffic or eyeballs who's watching the commercials to buying whether it's through phone or through the web or whatever it may be, but I'm assuming that a video selling something is always going to yes. convert better 
If it's and if it's done right, absolutely. If right? some of the best two people copywriters in the world yeah. and editors or whatever right. went up against each other, you'd probably sell more from a video from than you would from copy, right? Yes, and then the other element. If it gets for any product or any type of niche, or any uh, niche. If 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 you said across the board the video is the same quality as the as the the long copy sales letter, that's what's going to happen. Yes, you're going to see um, on average what we've been seeing. We've been doing this a lot of niches from health re relationships, internet marketing to even software and other types real of real estate. We've done stuff for real estate, offline businesses like CPAs and stuff like that. Right. The video converts more, and that's on the conversion side. So once they get to your site, they're gonna take more people are gonna take action when you're using video right. over just the copy. <clears throat> now here's the cool part. Here's the part that Lewis doesn't know, is that if if they get to a site with video and they were driven there by video, mm -hmm. they're even ten more times more qualified really? and ready to take action. Yes, our YouTube leads to a so if someone who's watching a video and says, Oh, I gotta click over here now to this guy's website and they're taken to another video, they're ten times more willing to take action and go forward with that. Why? Because they're already conditioned to video. Right. So it's kinda like let's just hit him with video everywhere we can get because it's more effective, it works better, you can communicate your message faster and easier and it just increases conversion. Now would you say it takes longer to create a video than it would be to write the same article or copy or to. I mean, you there know, is a little bit more. I, I don't. I don't want to lie and say it takes less. I think it depends. But We're doing this video right now, and it's and it's going to take as long as it takes to upload it, and and and, and then you got to upload it. You know. And... But here's the thing. Who, raise your hand if you hate writing, <laughs> right? I'm horrible. And so now we get to finally say, okay, good. We don't have to really do article marketing anymore. And I'm not saying stop some whole piece of your business. Right. If you're getting backlinks and traffic from articles, you never stop that. But video is easy and we don't have to write. Right. Well, it's easy if you use it the right way that works best for you. So if you don't like being right. in front of camera like this, then you don't want to do it that yes. way because it's going to be hard and difficult for people. And I do a lot of videos where I'm not in front of the camera. <clears throat> Right. It's not gonna get ready. I gotta do my hair and makeup, and that takes time. No, right. but people really do. You know, if you if you're female, a lot of female clients I've worked with, it's a big hassle. You gotta get the ha the hair and the makeup ready. That's an hour, just to do a video. And we just said, hey, let's let's wrap up tonight with a video before the sun, right. beautiful it's sunset goes down. down. Right now. now, what if they're not an entrepreneur or a small business owner, but they're like a big company, so they don't even have to be the person in front of the video? Do you think that all businesses should be using video no matter what? Absolutely. To get I mean, if if they have something online like a web presence and they want to use it to, for traffic generation, that's right. absolutely. Awesome. Yeah, cool. as simple as that. Awesome. Let's show them the view real quick yes. and we'll finish with that. Yes, here's our demonstrability with this view right there. I don't know there. if you can see it that well with this little I think it's kind of $20 camera. Focusing. <laughs> but it's $100. You can see the you And see then the we can barely see Catalina out there in the in the distance. Very nice. All right, we'll see if we can put it back here for everybody. Works. I think we kind of changed it up there. <laughs> well, what's the one last thing you should say to people or that you have advice for people who are yeah, that's thinking always, about right. video or... That's always hard. Uh, yeah. You know, so, okay, just one, say one thing. Whenever someone asks me that, I say, you know what? The best thing you can do is be consistent and take action. Right. It doesn't matter what type of video or what type of strategy we're yes. talking about, but it's just to do it. Why don't you say that? That I, seems so easy to say that. Just do it. Just take action. But what do you? But that's what keeps everybody from seeing the results. Is they're not actually they don't doing do anything. People get in their heads. They think about it a lot. They talk about it a lot. They strategize too much um, about it. But but just going off of that, because that is what I was going to say, is do it. Is just keep in mind that when you film your first video, no one has to see it. Right. You can delete it and do it over again. I have a rule of the magic of three. If you want to do your videos and you're not very uncomfortable in front of the camera. Do it three times. The third time is a charm, and it's going to be awesome. Every single time you get in front of the camera, every mm -hmm. time you say your message, it's going to get better and better and better. So delete the other one, do it again. Delete the other one, awesome. do it again. Well, we put together some cool training videos today for you guys, and uh, we'll be updating you soon with where you can get information on it and uh, how you can learn more about using video and specifically YouTube. So, James, it's been a pleasure hanging out all day as the sun comes down in Laguna Beach, and uh, hope everyone... Uh, that's a good one. We'll talk to you guys later. See ya.